Hi friends, in this video we will talk about filters in Power BI. There are couple of filters in Power BI. We will discuss that. There are three types of filters in Power BI. So what are those three types? So let me talk about in detail one by one. Let me increase the font size. Yeah. So first one is visualization level. visualization level so when you apply a filter at the visualization level it applies to that visualization only if there is any change in the data if you applied for that particular visualization then you can see the difference into that visualization only for example if your page contains three or four visualization it does not impact the other visualizations because the filter is at the visualization level that is the first filter in the Power BI. Second filter is at the page level. So in this, in this uh, filter, so if you apply a filter at the page level, it means that that filter is getting applied to all visualizations in that particular page. Let us assume it, I have two visualizations in that particular page, that filter is getting applied to the two visualizations that is at the page level the third one is at the, the report level so if you go to the uh, report level filters it means that that filter is getting applied to all the pages which are there into that particular project let us say i have three pages so i am planning to apply a filter at the report level it means that that filter is getting applied to all pages in the particular report solution so let me show you how to apply these filters at these three levels practically. So before going to the uh, Power BI window, let me show you the list of tables which I am planning to use. Here I am planning to use AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. Under that, I have a couple of dimension tables as well as a fact tables. So here if you see the dimension tables, I have a dim customer, dim date, dim geography, dim product dim product category dim product subcategory so these are the list of tables i am planning to use for my power bi page visualization design and when you come to the fact tables so i am planning to use fact internet sales so these are all the list of tables i am planning to use so not only sql server so you can use uh, the data which are uh, which is there in the excel also Power BI supports multiple data sources. Let's go to the Power BI window. So this is the place where you need to specify the visualization and the data. See so how to get the data from the SQL server. You have an option in the Power BI window, get data. Let's click on that option. So once you click on that option, here you need to select from which you need to get the data. So I want to get the data from SQL Server database. Click on connect. So once you click on connect, it may ask you what is the server name. So my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. If your server name is dot, you can keep it that. And let's click on OK. So whatever the server name, you can keep that. And here I didn't keep the database name because I'll keep in the, I'll select the database in the next level. If you see my database server, I have these list of databases in my server. So as I told you, I will be selecting the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. Under that, I have the couple of tables. Here I need to select what are all the tables I need for my example. Here I'll be selecting the list of tables. And nothing to worry, if you forget any table while uh, selecting here, you can come back to this window and you can select later also. We have that flexibility with the Power BI. Here if you see this, I have selected one, three plus three, total seven tables I selected it. So once I click on load, it may take a while to load into our Power BI window along with the field names. You can see the load status even here. So 
let's wait until it loads yeah so it has been loaded if you see this here so i already have a tables loaded that is the reason why it is showing a dim customer to dim date to dim geography to dim product to if you already load the existing tables it will come like this you can remove the unused or extra tables so i can remove this one i loaded two times that is the reason why so it came with two two let me remove nothing to worry or even i can i can keep that as it is that nothing will happen because there is no change in the data just to show you i loaded again Yeah, this is how we need to remove the existing tables which are there in our uh, power bi uh, solution so even nothing will happen even if i maintain the table names here once you remove unused or unwanted tables so i'll show you the modeling part as well here yeah so this is the last table if you see finally how many tables we have as i told you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 tables are there now let me go back to the modeling view relationships so if you go to there you can see what are all the uh, relations which are exist in between the tables you can see that so this is how the relation happens now let me go back to the report design here so i have two empty pages page 1 and page 2 with the name of page 1 and page 2 so let me go to the visualization let me minimize the fields and let me maximize the visualizations let me take one or two visualizations so that uh, i'll show you the filters easily let me maximize this and let me take a pie chart here yeah so here i'll be keeping a pie chart and here it is a uh, column chart now let me select the fields and let me go to the page to even let me say uh, take some chart either whatever the chart in the page 2 i have a clustered co column chart and in the page 1 a clustered column chart and the pie chart now let me select the fields what are all the fields i need here so for the visualization one so i am planning to select country name english country name along with that i am planning to select the uh, sales amount let me go here select the sales amount i can see now here for the visualization two also let me select the sales amount and let me select the geography as uh, english uh, country is in name if you have a customized data which is familiar with you you can use that because i have a adventure works with me and it satisfies all the scenarios that is the reason why i'm using adventure works if you have a simple data with you to practice these examples you can go with it nothing to worry Yeah, these are all the list of fields I selected here. Now, if you see this, these two pages contains one page contains a clustered column chart and pie chart. The other page contains this one. So, if you want to increase the font sizes and all, you can do that. Select that particular uh, visualization, go to this uh, settings, and uh, you can go to the x-axis and you can increase the fonts. Okay, and uh, you can, uh, if you want to, you can enable the data labels and all. you can enable the data labels and you can change the size as well if you want there is a size even so now let's select this visualization so if you want to uh, increase the font size you can increase this and if you want to enable data labels you can enable it 
so so this is how we'll do the legend if you want you can uh, this one you can keep it if you want you don't want to dis disable it and uh, if you want a background you can keep it and border everything you can do that that's uh, styles we can do that and even you can do here also for uh, this also if you want yeah, I, i'm able to uh, uh, read here there's nothing to worry now let's uh, go to the filters perspective so here so as i told you there are uh, three type of filters first one is at the visualization level so the visualization level let's select the any visualization and let's come to this uh, down so there is a filter section so here by default it show you all the um, values so let's come here and select any particular country if i select australia so i'll be getting impacted only this particular visualization it does not impact the other visualization so that is nothing but a visual level filters that is nothing but a visual level filters it does not touch the it does not impact the other visualization so let me select all and it automatically comes all the data even for the same behavior i can do for this particular thing so the that is at the visualization level so now if you go to the second filter let me go to the second filter at the page level so what we'll do is so don't select any visualization select the empty space and drag and drop the geography from geography english country name to page level filters i'm just dragging and dropping so if you see this by default all countries are selected if you see here okay now if you select only one country let us say so united kingdom so it is getting impacted to both the visualization let me go to the second page and see is there any impact in the second page no there is no impact in the second page because it is at the page level filter so that is the reason why it does not impact the other pages in the power bi solution now let me go to them now let me let me remove this filter at the page level and let me click on let let me unselect everything and let me go to the field section and let's drag and drop the english country name from uh, uh, field section to the filter section in the report filters i kept this english country name in the report level so let me select any country from the let me minimize the fields let me select united states so once i select united states obviously yes the page 1 is getting impacted if you go to the page 2 that also you can see the impact so that is how i am going to implement the page level filters as well as report level filters so there is a one more filter a uh, drill through filters we'll talk about separately in the separate uh, video there is a, a separate uh, concept we have all together different from this so these are all the filters this drill through filter is added very recently we'll talk about that later now so visual visual filter is at the visualization level page level filter is nothing but at the page level report level filter is nothing but all the reports level it means that project level filters so this is about filters in the power bi so if you have any questions in the power bi please comment your questions in the comment section and that's it thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you